Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for tuning in. My name is Rachel and of course those of you who have been here, hey, whether it was the title or the thumbnail of this video, I'm hoping you enjoy the content today. Uh, you can see the title as I've already said, so let's get into it. So guys, I'm doing a H&M haul for you um, and I've always said on my channel like me and H&M are kind of like we go at it. I love them, but I struggle to find pieces there. Like it's really, really long. Um, on this occasion, I have like four different items of the same print. So that just shows my logic when I'm shopping on the site. Um, I know they have their other brands, like their sister brands on the app as well, but this is just gonna be purely H&M. Although I do really want to have a look at weekday. So that might be coming soon, I'm not sure. Anyway, for size reference, I'm a Euro, uh, Euro? UK size eight on top, 10 on the bottom of about five, six, five, seven in height. Why do I feel like there's another detail to tell you? There isn't, but that's all in the description box. Um, it will be a try on as per usual. So make sure you have a look. I'll be showing you the model pictures. Check the description box for all the details. And as I've said, it's a H&M haul. Let's get into it. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, is there anything you guys are noticing that is different? Because I am a silver girly now. And I know I said it in one of my recent videos. And I have to say, shout out to, I, I need to find that comment, but the person that basically told me, hey Rachel, like, try and work out, are you cool tone, neutral, warm? I think I pulled to cool and neutral. Um, and I say that because I've recently started wearing silver jewelry and I really think it stands out on my complexion. Now, I'm a deeper, dark complexion, so naturally gold is gonna stand out as well. But let me know what you guys think, actually. Do you think silver, you notice it more, or gold? I'm thinking silver at the moment, but it might just be because I'm loving it. Now, I also say that to say I have to shout out to Monica Vinada who gifted me with some pieces not sponsored but as i mentioned they did gift me with some jewelry and i wanted to show you guys because i'm literally updating my collection now i know before if you are not new to this channel you would have known i've worked with monica Fina and vinada a few times now but i even get to say that is lit and let's even just pause and say thank you to you guys because naturally if you were not supporting me leaving comments, loving on me, and just watching my content, I would probably never be on their radar. So I know I say it, but I feel like you probably miss it. Thank you guys so much. I love you endlessly. And I say it not for the things that I get, but because of the kind words that you guys checking up on me, like that stuff is nuts. But anyway, um, now me getting emotional. I wanted to show you guys some of my jewelry because I'm switching everything out. I had a whole like gold collection that I literally wore every single day. You guys, I know, I say it time and time again, I'm a jewelry girl, like I love my jewelry. Um, so yeah, I picked up some pieces from Monica Vinader recently and shout out to me and shout out to them because I have my new uh, necklace stack. I've changed up my earrings, like literally my earring stack has all been changed up. My rings, like, I don't mind mixing metals, but I'm really a silver girly now, so yeah. And you guys, you have to remember, I always have a discount code pretty much all year round for Monica Venedor. So if you're shopping for your birthday, mum's birthday, best friend, your girls, whoever, or if you just want to treat yourself, you can get 20% off your shop. Um, I say that just to remind you guys, because I feel like you do forget. Um, it is in the description box, it's Rachel20, you can apply it, unless they're doing their own promotions and stuff. Then obviously you can't be cheeky, but do check it out and use it whenever you're shopping on their site, 20% off never hurt anybody but yeah i've updated pretty much my whole collection and i'm honestly loving it and i always love the fact that if you don't remember you can engrave their jewelry i've got this little heart necklace and i engraved it with my boyfriend's initial because we soft and romantic over here and i love that for me so yeah check them out guys um but as i mentioned we've got pieces to get through so let's move on So every time I do a H&M haul, I will always say it time and time again, H&M, when will you get rid of the plastic bags? Like, it's so long. But anyway, I digress. This first item is in a size small and it's this beautiful, ooh, shift to the side. Oh, I didn't think this through, hold on. Yeah, there we go. It's this really, really cute crochet top, as you can see here in black. Now, I actually only put this up in a size small because it was um, out of stock in all the other sizes, but I'm really, really glad I did. It's not oversized, but because it has zero stretch, I was a bit worried. But um, it's not oversized, but it definitely is a nice fit on me. This top is super cute. Obviously, you'll see on the model a bit better as well as the try on. 
Um, I really love the detail. I love the fact that it is practically see-through because there's this like lace design. As you can see, it has no lining or anything. And I just think it'll be a nice piece to layer with. Of course, you can just wear a black bra, you can wear cami. Um, you can definitely like, layer this. I think it would be really cute, maybe even like over a cami dress. That could be cute. Um, so yeah, I saw this and I was like, I'm vibing with it. Really lovely quality and material as well. So I think this was a great pick. And you know, it's that springtime like material and that sort of pattern. So I thought it was really, really fitting. So that was the first piece. Before I even move on to the next piece, just to quickly make mention, my bodysuit is good old Zara and the denim jacket is from Zara as well. It's the one they recently brought in. I just wanted to wear it off shoulder. Um, but yeah, I showed it in one of my previous videos, but there probably is a Zara haul coming, so stay tuned. I might as well get all the black out of the way, right? So the next piece I have is this gorgeous, gorgeous dress. And it's so funny because when this order came, one of my friends was at my house and she's like, Rachel, don't you have a dress that looks like that already? And I said, what's your point? We're not gonna do that. This dress is in a size small. I've learnt from previous purchases that it is best to just get your size or even size down because these dresses really do have a nice amount of stretch to them. Um, it is this really cute sort of like, almost like a pronounced sweetheart neckline. No boning or anything, but it's just the way it's cut out. It is in a mini medaxi length, like midi medaxi length, depending on your height. As I've already said, I'm like 5'6 to 5'7. Um, and it's got a really nice stretch to it as well. I actually did pick up this same dress in another color. So give me two seconds. And only because I wasn't sure which one I would want. You're not going to see it super, super well, obviously, because of my background. But you'll see it in the model and on the try-on as well. Um, I'm still torn as to which one I'm going to go for. Some of the dresses have, like, duplicate, duplicate colors. And I haven't actually tried them on. So I'm not sure if I am going to keep the cream or the black. I'm definitely not keeping both. But it's got a nice amount of stretch. I would actually even low-key size down because it really is stretchy, which is always, 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 always amazing. And so, yeah, I'm not sure the price, but check the description box below. So those with those two dresses. Now, this next piece is just staring at me. So I'm going to show it to you guys uh, next. This cardigan, I think, is so cute. I actually really love how they styled it on the website with the uh, model wearing, like, the pink satin mini dress and this on top. I was like, yeah, that is very spring-esque because I don't know when you guys are watching this, but right now it is pouring with rain. So there we are. Shout out to spring in, you know, the UK. But anyway, I saw this cardigan and I thought this was super cute. It is oversized, so I actually picked up in a small. Yeah, on the website it says it has an oversized fit and I don't want it to be like completely huge. It says really cute like pink knit cardigan. I'm um, open, no buttons or anything like that and no pockets either. The only thing with this is just like low key neon. It's literally borderline neon, but I really, really like the tone. And I think for someone like me who has a lot of neutrals, it would be nice just to like throw this over the top. I'm kind of looking at it like against my complexion and I just think it'd be, be super cute. Now I've always said I'm not the biggest fan of some knits that H&M do. I still, I'm not used to shopping on a website, I guess, but it's very hit and miss for me sometimes. These sort of like thicker knits, I feel like are the ones that hit and miss, whereas like the knitted dresses and things are usually like 10 out of 10. So yeah, that was the next piece. Next dress that I picked up is so cute. It's in this like sort of like crinkle material. Really, really lovely in this sort of ecru beige color. It's a strappy knit dress. Well, actually it's not really a knit. It's more of like a jersey-esque material, but it's the strappy dress with adjustable straps, which is always good. I picked mine up in a UK size small. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of the pieces that I tried on that I think I could size up. It is very, very form-fitting on me. I thought this would actually be really nice even with like the denim jacket that I'm wearing now. You know, those spring-ish days where it's like it's warm, but it's not hot. So you want to have a layer and I thought this would be really, really nice with that. Um, I do have like cream boots and everything, so I could definitely style it up to be more like cold summer days. You get my vibe. But definitely in the spring summertime, this will be a really nice piece to have. It's a basic. I know you're not going to see much of it because of the length. But again, it is in that Medaxi sort of length. It has a slit on the back, which is cute always. You know, we like a bit of, uh, what's the word? Functionality when we're wearing our clothes. So yeah, this was the next piece, which again, you'll see a lot better on. Next two dresses that I want to show you are another one of the dresses. I think that's the last piece that I picked up, the same dress in two different colors. I actually really, really love the green. Um, as you can see, I've just dashed the, the cream one to the side, but it looks like this. And I feel like... 
it's not really picking up the color on screen. It looks a bit like dull actually, or maybe once I've edited this, I'll like obviously work the color and whatnot. But it is just a strappy, uh, not strappy, sorry. It's just a V-neck dress, uh, strapless is what I meant to say. This again, I picked up in a size small. It's another one that I feel like I could have sized down just because they are really forgiving with their sizes. This one too does have the slit on the back as well. And overall, I just thought it'd be a nice way to bring a bit of color into my wardrobe. I get comfort from the silhouette and the fact that it's knit, like that's very me and sort of like, you know, very typical for something I would wear. So I thought the color green would be a nice way to kind of like brighten up the outfit overall. As I mentioned, I do also have it in the cream as well. So same dress, equally I'm not going to keep um, the both of them as I mentioned with the other ones. So again, I have to decide which one I want to keep, but I just thought, you know, y'all would be proud of me again, uh, picking up some color. So that was the next two dresses. This, <laughs> what's wrong with me? This next dress that I picked up was so random but it brought an element of nostalgia that just made me feel like i can't not pick up this dress it's in a size small and y'all are just gonna be like rachel this is so childish what the hell i thought it was so cute it is this dress here so it's like a racer style dress and it has all the pinks like the pastel yellows that blue sort of like cornflower blue i just thought it was really really cute but honestly when i wear it i feel like a small girl but yeah it's a really really sweet dress um again in like a medaxi length sleeveless as you can see i just really like the colors on it so i was like do you know what we're gonna try it we're gonna see what it's like and um yeah that's the next piece <laughs> i don't know why it's making me giggle so much see it's bringing up my inner little girl but yeah i thought it'd be really really cute i did try this on with the pink cardigan it's a complete no this item is my absolute fave am i mistaken no my absolute fave of this haul and it just so happened to be one of the pieces that um i actually just like added not by accident but really really last minute to my basket i picked this up in a medium which again for me was a perfect size i can't remember what made me pick the medium um but i'm really happy i did and it is this jumper here now again the model sold it to me i saw it on her i can't remember what she styled it with but i was like this is gorgeous what you might not be able to see like completely well is the fact that it is kind of like that crochet sort of like see-through knit yeah you can see that kind of well um but it's in this really lovely like beige um oh i don't even know beige sort of like mushroomy tone so cute i love how like flowy it is you've got like really nice long sleeves it's kind of like fitted but in a loose way so it kind of like drops over your curves in a really really um flattering way round neckline and i just thought this would be really nice in the obviously spring summer days with some jeans it would be really cute in the satin skirt whether short or long however you decide to vibe with it um and yeah so this ended up being my favorite especially once i tried it on i was like yeah i really 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 like this um this and the black top actually the first black top i showed you guys i think are my faves next piece is um beautiful but i have tried it on and i wasn't a huge huge fan if i'm honest um it's in a size medium and it's this wrap dress here now if there's one thing oh girl i've got it all the way open you're not gonna be able to see a darn thing so try on in pictures um this is one of those pieces where it's like H&M know what they're doing. I think they've got really, really good pieces for like office wear. And if you want to be a bit more smarter in your outfit, like a little more formal. And I think this dress will do really well for that. But there's just something about it on me, even though I do have like a formal-ish work setting. Um, it was just a bit like, mm, eh, no. I love the blue. Again, I was trying to branch out, you know, wear a bit of color but yeah it just really wasn't for me nothing to do with the way it's constructed it's got like this nice little lining on the inside there as i mentioned it's a wraparound really nice amount of stretch as well so again just stick to your size with this one and this is more of like a midi length but um yeah i just wasn't loving it all the way when i put it on and you guys know me if you've been here before you know i'll always say if i have to mm and ah i'm not keeping it so that was the next piece same top two different colors or patterns should i say i'm actually going to show you the alternative one so the one i'm going to show you now i do have it in another print but the other print is uh the same print of the other items that i said i've got multiple pieces of that same print 
I said print a lot. It is this really cute blouse. My sister saw this and so she was like, mm mm. I was like, no, this is really cute. I picked mine up in a size medium um, and it looks like this. So it is this blouse with like an open neckline. You can tie it together and it has these really cute like cuff sleeves as well. Quite sheer, I will say that. So you definitely have to be considerate if you're trying to wear this in the office or anywhere like that. You're gonna have to think about what you're wearing underneath it. I thought this would be really nice for like the warmer days. Tuck these into jeans, skirt, whatever you want it to be on the bottoms. But because it's like this sort of like high neck chiffony material, I think it makes your outfit just look a little more elevated. Like you put more effort when you really, really didn't. I like it. I think she's a hater. I really like it. Um, as I mentioned, I did pick up this other print as well. Um, and out of the two, I definitely prefer this print uh, on my right hand side. So yeah, you will see it on a lot better, but it's really nice and light and flowy. And so that's why I thought it would be super cute and just again, functional for when it's warmer. If you're someone who works in an office, I know a lot of offices do have AC and stuff, but whether it's the commute to work or just having to grab your lunch, like you want something that's breathable. So I thought this would be really, really good for that. So that was the other two tops I picked up. Um, I have these other three items. Now the first one I will show you will actually be the cohort set. I was so disappointed with this because again the model Loki sold it to me I saw the print and I was like I really really like the mix of like the nudes uh that neutral sort of colors and the black but it just wasn't given if anything the skirt is probably the bit that I was like most happy with the top did not fit me at all I picked up the skirt in the UK 12 there isn't a lot of stretch if that, there's no stretch on this so I think I listened to what they said on the website and then the top that i picked up is supposed to be really cute like long sleeve kind of like this tie detail crop top oh my gosh i think i picked it up in a medium and guys it just doesn't fit i was so surprised i was like okay skinny but it doesn't fit um so you will see a lot easier there's not much i can do to really get you to understand what the top looks like but it does have this little tie front which is supposed to be really really cute but as i said putting it on together is just like and no I do like the skirt, but again, it's kind of like, mm, it's a lot lighter in material than I thought it would be, but it is a linen blend, so no shock there. But yeah, I just wasn't 100% sold on it. So that was a bust, but it's one of those pieces that I know will look ridiculously good on someone else. So check it out. And then the last bit, I say last but not least, but this, this is, I shouldn't have, I never like ending on like, a bad one but that is actually the last item is the dress version of that same print now the mistake i feel like they made with this dress is it's the cut just isn't giving like it's not it's not giving grown it's not giving sexy it's just meh again i know someone will slay this so i have to show you guys of course but um it was also giving robe slash kimono, which I'm not mad at again, but it's like, if that's what it's gonna be, that's what it needs to be. Yeah, I picked this up in a medium. Um, again, really, really light in material. I think it would be really good for the warmer days. However, this just wasn't fitting the way I wanted it to. I tried to cinch it on the waist. I tried to tie it tighter because it's a wrap dress, but it just wasn't giving. I did pick mine up in a medium. I would actually should suggest if you can do uh, to buy two sizes, maybe your normal size and size down. I don't know if it'll make much of a difference, but it does have like um, very like flowy sleeves, which I think adds to it looking like a robe. As I mentioned, it's a wrap dress, nice sort of like medaxi length. Um, but all in all, it just, it wasn't giving. I love the material though, but no. So guys, that was the end of the haul. Um, as I mentioned, there were some busts, but I try not to like, I try and give you guys first impressions, but at the same time, it's like, I don't want to waste too much time talking about something that just isn't cute. But as I always say, it might look really, really good on you. So I will always show you the bits and bobs that I've got, even if I don't particularly love them. I did get some really good pieces and I've checked H&M again not too long ago and they really do have some gorgeous spring summer items that I think you might want to take a look at. I'm definitely in my bag of like getting my basics right now and just sort of switching over my wardrobe. I haven't actually um, officially done my spring summer switch over, but I'm really focused on getting my elevator basics and just core, core pieces that I know I can mix and match with different bits. So I'm a lot more stringent with the bits that I get. I'm actually overall a little disappointed with my haul, 
because I thought I was gonna love a lot more than I actually ended up doing. And you guys know, I'm not trying to be returning and buying all of that, like it's long. Um, but yeah, it's a shame, but I did get some really, really good pieces. So I'll definitely say the dresses, the black top and that jumper, like that knit jumper check it out again as i've mentioned with my jewelry shout out to monica vinida for gifting me with these pieces i'm a silver girly now as i've already said so check them out you guys know or if you don't know you do have a discount code of 20 percent off as i've mentioned already so check out the description box for more details but until my next video my loves stay well stay blessed good vibes only and i'll see you guys soon bye